survivor once again. Dad, I found you. It's you. Wait! Before we get into this beautiful but weird <laughs> anime on Hulu, please do us a favor. Hit that subscribe button right down at the bottom. This film came out in 2021. It revolves around a man by the name of Van who has these powers from getting bitten by this plague wolf. <laughs> and, well, well, let's, uh, let's back up just a touch. And this yeah. is already into the problem with the movie. The movie explains so much backstory. And yes. I thought this was like, I'm like, what are you doing? Get the story started, you know what I mean? But I understand why, because now it's really difficult to explain the premise without talking about the backstory. Because you went straight to the premise. I'm like, uh oh, we're gonna trip up later. And yeah, this is yeah. all told in like a Star Wars S type scroll almost on the screen. Yes. Uh, and it's like, oh Lord have mercy. <laughs> Hate those. <laughs> Hate those. Terrible. But anyway. <laughs> Two Star Empires. Wars didn't even do it right. Nope, they don't. <laughs> but it's kind of the joke with Star Wars, or a tradition almost. It's like, well, f it. You know, it's Star Wars. But anyway, um, <laughs> we got two empires. They're against each other, the Aquafa people and the Zolian mm. Empire, I think that's what they're called. And mm. they are at a, they are, they have a tenuous truce. The people of Aquafa yielded to the Zolian Empire 10 years ago. The people of Aquafa pledged our loyalty to you nearly 10 years ago. But that all changed about 10 years ago. The reason why they struck the truce is because there was a plague that hit like six years ago called like yeah. the Black Wolf Plague or some shit like that. But the Black Wolf yeah. Plague only affected one empire. I cannot remember which one it is. Was it the Aquafa? I think it people? was the, the Zolians. Another, another issue. Can't tell these two factions apart. So why do I Just by color, because you got the blue ones and you got the red ones. Yeah, I, <laughs> the, yeah it was the blue ones. They 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 they, uh, they got they got infected. But anyway. yeah, that's the Zol's. Yeah. yeah, okay, that's the Zol Zolians. Yeah, anyway, they now have have a truce, and magically the black wolf disease is cloud. Gone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, cloud water well, doesn't matter it's gone uh but when the movie starts like you said there's a man named van he's a slave he's working in a mine black wolves run into the mine they bite everybody unleashing the disease yet again but somehow van survives and he survives with powers even though he got bit and he mm -hmm. saves this little girl she also survives and it's left ambiguous yeah. at first whether or not she has powers. Yeah. This this man has a flashback, many flashbacks. Uh, you see that he lost his wife and his son uh, to a different disease. <laughs> and <Why>? I, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and um, he is part of a um, a crew called the, uh, the Lone Antlers. Yeah. A group of Puika riders called the Lone Antlers took up arms against the Zolians and became Aquafa's guardians. It was because of them that Zol was willing to enter into a treaty with us. Want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? <laughs> guys, guys, guys! And, and they are uh, like warriors, and I guess they were fighting against the... Uh, Aquafa? The aquifer, yeah, <laughs> they're fighting against them. They all got wiped out except for him. He, he's like a tough dude. Right. He figures that this girl, which his name was Yuna, he figures that that's his daughter now. He didn't get. He doesn't care if it's by blood or not. Right, because um, they both survived the mines, and so now they just kind of lean on each other for support, and they have turned into a little adopted family, which is cute. Yeah. They head to this nearby village to seek refuge. It's like a village who raises deer. That's another thing in the movie. It's like, so the deer aren't called deer. They're called like poi, poigas, po poigas. poigas? <laughs> Puiga. <laughs> and they've got a magical milk <laughs> that one faction drinks, but the other doesn't. I think the Zolians drink it, but the Aquafus yeah. don't. Have some. None for me, dear. Thank you. Zolians believe that drinking the milk of a beast will turn you into a beast yourself. 
And so I'm like, oh, okay. Well, that's the reason why only one people get sick because they be drinking that fucking deer milk. But man, it took them forever to get to that. I'm like, yo, I solved that shit immediately. <laughs> like, let's go. <laughs> chop, chop, movie. Let's yeah. go. Move this thing alone. I wonder how good that milk tasted, though. Apparently it stank though. They're like, <laughs> <laughs> the alcohol people were like, we don't drink that shit. It smells like ass. <laughs> and I was like, that's funny. <laughs> it gives you superpowers. <laughs> yeah, apparently it makes you immune. Drink that shit. From the udder. <laughs> it's great. Fresh from the udder. So this, this was my problem with the movie. The movie has a lot of lore. And I know this movie is based off of a, uh, I think it's based, based off of a manga. So I bet you this lore is better mm -hmm. laid out. And they probably take their time in the manga explaining these two factions and all these characters. But in the movie, they got two hours. You know what I mean? They got two hours, they gotta go. And it, man, this movie just yeah. stumbles and falls all over itself, trying to explain this deep lore. There's even like some double crossing going on with the Zolian Empire or some sh I'm like, why do I care that the double crossing if I can't tell mm -hmm. the the empires apart? Like, If I can't tell you apart, why do I care there's a, a double cross? So the movie, it just has so <laughs> much exposition so much endless <laughs> and then it is just boring <laughs> i'm starting the movie and i started the movie i was like oh that's pretty and then and then 30 minutes later i'm like oh, okay and an hour later i'm like hmm okay. uh, like, and then, okay. yeah an hour and a half i'm like damn this movie damn. <laughs> yo i think that I think that's why my my big nap came in right after the film. Oh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And my big nap was about, about happen, two hours. My big nap was about to happen halfway through, dog. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was like, this movie, this was, I said before, not a big anime guy, but this right here was boring. I'm sorry. Yeah. Boring. Now there, there's a doctor in this who wants to find the cure. Right. And he wants to cure he wants to cure for everybody just in case it goes to the Zoles or the uh the other people. He wants to cure it and he knows that finding Vol uh Van is the reason to do it. The Aquifer sent out a um basically like an assassin <laughs> to, right. to to find this guy. And I'm like, but why do you want to do that? Because he's the cure. What do you want to kill him for? But you the, know? But the cure is blood. Like magical yeah. blood. Lord have mercy <laughs> every movie that does magical blood you lose points i don't like magical blood it is the most boring stereotypical idea that is possible like my <laughs> god <laughs> was this movie <laughs> full of stereotypes i'm like what, what? You had the long pause <laughs> i was i was just devastated <laughs> by the time we got to the point that you're talking about with the assassin and all that shit I didn't care. I don't know. I, I was having like a visceral reaction from the movie. I was like, I was like physically upset. I was like shaking. I was like, what is this movie? So by the time we got to that, I, I, I was like, I was like checked out. But you're yeah. right. It is weird they sent an assassin when they said explicitly to bring him back alive. But then I guess yeah. she explains herself because he was part of the Lone Antler clan and the Lone Antler clan mm -hmm. fought the aqua aquifer people she was trying to get revenge or whatever. yeah my entire family was murdered by zolians the black wolf fever is retribution <laughs> yeah. but then she ends up being on her side anyway yeah <laughs> so i thought they're gonna bone uh, but they didn't no nah, they didn't <laughs> <laughs> the movie is very pretty looking um the animation's really good i think some of the visuals are really like the visual directing is really good there's some dream sequences that i think are really interesting mm, like yeah because it has like some morphing type of stuff because with with this power that he has he is supposed to be like the new king of the dogs or something because there's this dude who's in this tree who, yeah. who he's like who's the leader of this succeed disease dog me. Group? <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> no if you will not succeed me why do you possess the power and he said no but yeah. then that's when we find out when the little girl, when she's immune to it, that it could pass on to her to be the dog queen and, right. and stuff. But um, yeah, man, this is a lot of exposition here that is probably more better explained in the manga. Now, here's the thing. I'm, a, I'm, I'm talking to you, Miosha. <laughs> it lets me know that I am a dub person. I am not a sub person. Hmm. I hate reading this mess. <laughs> did you okay. read it or did you watch the dub? 
Oh, they don't have a, a dub. <laughs> yeah, they did. I watched the dub. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I, didn't watch, I didn't watch the <laughs> subtitles. <laughs> Dang. I figured that's what you would oh, watch because well. I know you don't you hate subtitles. I figured I, I hate subtitles. Okay. It's not that I'm illiterate, people. I just don't like looking down, looking up, looking down, looking up. Yeah. <laughs> you know. This movie was directed by one of the assistant directors of Spirit, Spirited Away, one of your favorite animes. Ooh. And yeah, yeah. Uh, because of that, you can kind of tell it's a very pretty film, but it's missing. Um, like life, <laughs> like this movie has no life, no magic. I felt, I felt kind of bored. I think if this movie really trimmed itself down, really trimmed itself down to just Van and Yuna, and less of this bullshit with the Aquafa people and the Zolian empires, and if that was just happening in the background somewhere, and we really didn't get a lot of information on that, that would be fine with me. It'd just be like, okay, blue guys versus, versus red guys, fine. You know, I, I, that would have been fine. Uh, if we just if we just zoomed in on our two main characters, I think we might have had a better movie. But man, this movie yeah. it cast too wide of a net, and it was it was a little little dull for for your boy. And it was about to catch some Z's for me. <laughs> <It's> okay, <laughs> but what made me enjoy some part of it was the visual aspects of this. But the lure the lure was luring me into a lot of my. I'm gonna give this film a uh, C minus. Great. Um, yeah, this wasn't for me. And I was like, oh, I don't know what to do here. Cause I figured this would be something you liked. And so I'm, I'm glad, I'm kind of glad to see that you didn't like it. Uh, because this was, yeah. a, this was a D for me. Uh, I was, I was bored. Um, th I, the a visual- D, not D plus? Nope, just a straight D. I was straight bored. D. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't gotta make it weird, dog. <laughs> D. Yeah. Devin giving that D to the film. <laughs> Jesus. This, this was, it felt like we we're missing an ingredient. Like we we're missing something out of, out of this movie. I didn't really care about the disease. I didn't, I didn't care about that. I didn't care about the doctor. I didn't care about Van. I didn't care about the magical blood. I didn't care about the warring factions. I liked Una though. I liked, I liked her she portrayal. She was very caring. She was. She was I very liked caring. Her. She really helped me, actually helped me get through the film. <laughs> um, but the film had just like way too much exposition. I mean, whoa, <laughs> like calm it down. Cut it back, or find a more interesting way to um, explain your backstory without without boring me to death. Do you recommend it? I do not. I, I imagine there is a lot of amazing animes to watch. Uh, so why, why bother with this one? If the manga's good, yeah. then that's a shame, man. If the manga's really good, or manga, if it's really good, that sucks. Because I've I felt that feeling before, where you love a book, or you love a comic book, and then the actual movie comes out, and it's not that great. So I feel bad for the fans if the manga's really good. But this movie, no. I don't recommend people to, uh, to see this either. Even if you are a, a hardcore fan of anime, this will bring you down because it's, it's giving you the, the tropes of, the bad tropes of a film. Of yeah. any, any film is that it's it's talking to you instead of showing you yeah. uh, what what it wants what it wants to convey and that is the ultimate sin. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ultimate. <laughs> but more importantly, do you recommend this film? Did you get on Hulu and watch this film? I don't think you did. But if you did, <laughs> get, get in the comments and let us know. And that is our review of Hulu's <laughs> The Deer King. So I must continue to resist. Dada! Hey, thank you so much for clicking on this video. We really do appreciate you coming here. If you could do us a favor, please hit that subscribe button right down at the bottom. All right, it really does help us out. And if you did like this rating review of this uh, anime, <laughs> hit that thumbs up for us. Or you can hit the thumbs down, whichever you choose. It is your opinion. Just remember one thing. It is mostly wrong. See you in another video.